The five K's are five articles of faith that Khalsa Sikhs wear at all times, as commanded by the 10th Sikh Guru, Guru Gobind Singh, who so ordered it at the Baisakhi Amrit Sanskar in 1699. The five K's are Kesh, or uncut long hair, a Ganga, a small wooden comb, a Kara, steel or iron bracelet, a Kachera, piece of undergarment, and a kirpan, short dagger. The five Ks are not just symbols, but articles of faith that collectively form the external identity and the Khalsa devotee's commitment to the Sikh Reni, Sikh way of life. A Sikh who has taken Amrit, dons all five Ks, is known as Khalsa, pure, or Amritdhari, Amrit Sanskar participant. While a Sikh who has not taken Amrit but follows all rules and keeps all five Ks is called a Sahajdhari or slow adopter. The Khalsa was initiated on Vaisakhi Day 1699 during a period of solemn conflict between the Sikhs and the Mughals. According to sources who witnessed the execution of Guru Teikh Bahadur in 1675, Aurangzeb dared the followers of the Guru to come and claim the body. Immediately after the execution, however, a severe dust storm gripped the whole of Delhi. The guards and onlookers all ran helter-skelter for shelter. The dust storm has been thought of as a sign from God that he was upset with the Mughal rulers. In the midst of the thick storm, when visibility was severely low, one Sikh took Guru Teik Bahadur's head and took off for the Punjab. Another Sikh found Guru Teik Bahadur's body, placed it in a cart, covered the cart with cloth, and went off to his house in Delhi. There he placed the Guru's body in his house and set fire to his whole house, so as not to be caught cremating the Guru. His house is today's site of Gurudwara Rakab Ganj Sahib. Based on the events surrounding Teik Bahadur's execution and Gobind Singh's subsequent termination, the five Ks were incorporated as a mandate for baptized Sikhs. This, this act created an external uniform for the spirit of the Khalsa that was easily identifiable in the public. Kesh The Kesh or unhorned long hair is part of the human body. It was created by Vaheguru as a mainstay of the Jeevan Chach. The Rani that was prescribed by Guru Gobind Singh Sahib, by which a Sikh is clearly and quickly identified. A Sikh never cuts or trims any hair to indicate the perfection of God's creation. The uncut long hair and the beard, in case of men, form the main kakkar for Sikhs. A dastar is a turban worn to protect the kesh and guard the dasam duar, the tenth gate. A spiritual opening at the top of the head. The turban is a spiritual crown, which is a constant reminder to the Sikh that he or she is sitting on the throne of consciousness and is committed to living according to Sikh principles. Guru Gobind Singh told his Sikhs, Khalsa mer ro rup he khas, Khalsa me ho Karo Nivas, or the Khalsa is my image. Within the Khalsa I reside, wearing a turban declares sovereignty, dedication, self respect, courage, and piety. Kanga A Kanga is a small wooden comb that Sikhs use twice a day. It is supposed to be kept with the hair and at all times. Combs help to clean and remove tangles from the hair and is a symbol of cleanliness. Combing their hair reminds Sikhs that their lives should be tidy and organized. The Sikhs were commanded by Guru Gobind Singh to keep a small comb called a kanga at all times. The comb keeps the hair tidy, a symbol of not just accepting what God has given, but also an injunction to maintain it with grace. The Guru said hair should be allowed to grow naturally. For men this includes not shaving. At the time of Guru Gobind Singh, some holy men let their hair become tangled and dirty. The Guru said that this was not right. Hair should be allowed to grow, but it should be kept clean and combed at least twice a day. Kara 
The Sikhs were commanded by Guru Gobind Singh at the Baisakhi Amrit Sanchar in 1699 to wear an iron bangle called a kara at all times. The kara is a constant reminder that whatever a person does with their hands has to be in keeping with the advice given by the Guru. The kara is an iron, steel circle to symbolize life as never-ending a symbol of permanent bonding to the community, being a link in the chain of Khalsa Sikhs. The word for link is curry. Kachera Originally, the Kachera was made part of the five Ks as a symbol of the Sikh soldier's willingness to be ready at a moment notice for battle or for defense. It was to get around quickly in a fight. The confirmed Sikh, one who has taken the Amrit, wears a kachara every day. Some go to the extent of wearing a kachara while bathing, to be ready at moment's notice, changing into a new one, one leg at a time, so as to have no moment where they are unprepared. Further, this garment allowed the Sikh soldier to operate in combat freely and without any hindrance or restriction, because it was easy to fabricate, maintain, wash and carry compared to other traditional undergarments of that era like the dhoti. The kachara symbolizes self-respect and always reminds the wearer of mental control over lust, one of the five evils in Sikh philosophy. Kachara follow a generally practical and roomy design. It features an embedded string that circles the waist, which can be tightened, loosened as desired, and then knotted securely. The kachara can be classed between underwear and outer garment, as in appearance it does not reveal private anatomy and looks and wears like shorts. As with all of the five Ks, there is equally equality between men and women and so women are also expected to wear it. Considering the hot climate in India, the kachara is often worn by men as an outer garment, keeping the wearer cool and being practical in manual work such as farming. However, it is generally not considered respectful for women to wear the kachara as an outer garment on its own as it is considered too revealing. Kirpan the kirpan is a short dagger which symbolizes a Sikh's duty to come to the defense of those in peril. All baptized Sikhs should wear a short form of kirpan approximately 6 to 9 inches long on their body at all times as a defensive sidearm. Just as a police officer is expected to wear a public defensive weapon when on duty. Its use is only allowed in the act of self-defense and the protection of others. It stands for bravery in protecting the weak and innocent. Originally, the kirpan was kept sharp and was actually used to defend others, such as those who were being oppressed by harsh rulers, women who were raped in the streets, or a person who was being robbed or beaten. The true Sikh cannot turn a blind eye to such evils, thinking they are someone else's concern. It is the duty of the true Sikh to help those who suffer unjustly by whatever means available, whether that means alerting the police, summoning help, or literally defending those who cannot defend themselves, even if that means putting oneself in harm's way.